This is one of the most secure things that you can do with a hard drive to make sure nobody gets your data. Make it into a piece of art, maybe scratch it, but once these things are out and shuffled, they're pretty, you gotta be pretty determined to get the data off of these because you don't, I've already taken apart three hard drives. These are my last two hard drives. And I'm gonna share with you how to take a hard drive apart if you haven't ever seen it. These are Western Digital. There will be a test screw right about here, I think, underneath, not test screw, additional screw. I've already taken off the side screws. It's always good to have all of your old screws uh, because you never know when you might need them, Mo mostly the mounting screws. See this little tape here? This is covering up a mount uh, hole that is covering up a screw that is holding this metal plate on, extra screw. Let's see what about this one. And this little hole right here is a little ventilation hole for the hard drive that they say don't cover up when you install. So don't ever put any extra. Oh, I think I got it right the first time. Let's make sure. Try a little bigger one just in case. That one fit in. That will this one. I'm going with my Torx drivers because otherwise I will end up stripping my Torx driver. All right. Don't cut yourself with the razor because this thing's sharp. Oops, I put it in upside down and there goes my alarm. Pomodoro technique. Keep me on task. These backs, you'll have all of the screws out and they still will be a little stiff coming off because they actually are glued. Well, not glued, but they have a, a piece of double sticky tape in there. The advantage of taking them apart is you learn more about electronics, how things are put together. You might be able to recycle these into art. It'd be nice if they had electronics recycling near me because I would bring my circuit boards over out of this. Show you them shortly. We're almost to the point of being able to pull the covers off. Covers will go into the recycling. All right. No glue there. This is the air um, filter right there for the drive, air filter. Same thing, activated charcoal even. All right, nice and clean, they look great. Now time to take the smaller Torx bits out because, well actually I think, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, this fits the other ones too. This needs to be taken off too. This is one of the circuit boards. Today, the circuit boards are considered trash. I probably paid close to four or five hundred dollars for each one of those drives. Amazing how much drives have come down in price. There's the drive. This is the foam uh, vibration insulation. Uh, well, here's the circuit board. And I think there was not on this drive. Here's one more. One more hiding that'll. You go back and forth and back and forth on these things. Do you have all the screws out of there? Yep. And I push this thing through. This was the one with it. And no other screws there. This, all right, now time to take these. These have uh, six screws and it's Torx bits, Torx fittings. And we need to find the right size one. And now you can see why they have all those big suits and everything when they're putting these together. The workers actually wear special gloves, they have masks on, they're in a 
controlled environment. Here's another one. Maybe this one will work. There we go. Everything's out, comes off. Nice little piece of art. And let's see if we have everything out of this one. There's one more hanging out over here. When you get the light in there, it's hard to see all the screws. go what do you think not bad huh turn it upside down see if everything falls out and it doesn't but we'll get one piece at a time here's this is garbage this is garbage these are the read right heads and these guys come off oh was there just one in there nah there might have been and this bearing is a nice bearing. You might, I might be able to find a use for that, maybe to make a camera dolly or something later on in the future. The casing itself will go into my recycle bin. I just wish I knew for fact whether it was uh, aluminum or not. Otherwise, here's a nice bearing here. Very smooth. And here's the case. I think it's milled aluminum. Somebody else can correct me if I'm wrong. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Woohoo! Yeah, subscribe anyways. I need the subscribers. Have a great day.